There are three ways to select a team prior to a match. The method of selecting a team is dependent on both your level of access and the time of week in the lead up to the match. We will now demonstrate how to select a lineup for those who have been given management access. Once someone has been given management access from an admin, they will be able to log into their PlayHQ profile via playhq.com to manage their team. Once logged in, select your name in the top right hand corner followed by my account. Team managers will see a list of teams they have been allocated to. Select the team you have management access for to open up the team details. Once the team is open, you have access to the team's fixture, ladder and squad details. The squad details section gives team managers access to all players' contact details who have been allocated to this team. Select the arrow next to any player to view contact details, including emergency contact information. To manage details of a particular game, select fixture. Team managers will have access to select lineups and enter results. Please note that if a two-day game is being electronically scored, it cannot be edited via My Teams between days of play. Edits will need to be completed by the scorer within electronic scoring. Lineups can be selected when a game is in a status of upcoming, in progress or pending. A game must be in progress or pending for results to be entered. Team managers will have a certain amount of time to enter lineups and results before the game is locked. This time amount is set at the association level. Select the game to open up the game details. Team managers with management access will be able to select manage along the top in yellow. If team managers do not see the manage button, they will need to contact their club to be given management access. Select manage. To select a lineup, navigate to select team. All allocated players will appear on the left hand side of the screen. If there is a team change, for example, during a two day match, you won't be able to make changes in my teams whilst the match is in progress. Team changes like this will need to occur within e-scoring. Select the plus button to move a player across into the lineup. To remove a player from the lineup, select the minus button next to a player. If the same team from the previous week is playing, use the select lineup from a previous round button. Tick the box to select a wicketkeeper. Multiple wicketkeepers can be selected if needed. Please note selecting a wicketkeeper needs to be enabled by the association. Captains can be assigned in the admin portal, but can be updated for a game by a team manager. Select Edit Captains to make any changes to the captains for this game. To add a player to the lineup who has not been allocated to the team, select Add Non-Team Player. This may be a player who has registered to the club but has not yet been allocated to the team. Search for the player, select the plus and done to add the player into the lineup. Select Next once all players have been selected. Changes can be made to the coaches of this game if coaches have been allocated to the team. Select Next to move to the volunteers. Type in the name of the scorer and select Save. The lineup has now been selected. If electronic scoring is not used, team managers will have access to enter results manually for a game. To enter results for a game, navigate to the fixture and select the game. Select Game Results to enter the overall score of the game, including wickets, runs and overs. Once entered, select Update Changes. You will notice the game status will update to final once the results are saved. Once a game is finalised, team managers can manually edit scores within the time frame set by the association. Lastly, the toss information can be entered for this game. Select the pen icon next to toss and select which team won the toss and whether they elected to bat or bowl. Player statistics can also be entered. Scroll down the page to the scorecard. First, you can reorder the batting order if needed. Select the three dots above the batters and select reorder batters. Drag and drop the batters into the correct order and select update and save. Next, enter the batting statistics. Select the pen next to each batter and enter the details including the status, 
number of runs and the dismissal if the batter went out. Complete this process for each batter. Next, you can enter the fall of wickets. Scroll to the bottom of the batters and select the pen next to the fall of wickets. Make your way through the list and select the batters from the drop down and enter the score on the right hand side. Select update and save. To select bowlers for this innings, select the three dots and select add bowler. Select the bowler from the drop down and enter the bowling statistics including overs, runs and wickets. Select update and save. Repeat this process to add all bowlers for this innings. Next, it is time to add the player statistics for the other team. Select the other team so they are highlighted blue and follow the same steps to enter batting and bowling statistics. All results have now been entered and saved and do not need to be entered by a club administrator.